Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. Alright, today we're gonna learn about globbing in the shell, specifically Bash, okay? I've touched on this before in previous episodes, but I'm gonna go over the basics today so you understand what's going on. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have a folder called files and we have a file called notes.txt. Notes is for me, but let's look at file. Let's see what's inside there. Okay, we have six files. foo.txt, foo.jpg, bar.txt, bar.jpg, baz.txt, baz.jpg. Cool, so we have three text files three JPEG files. Really simple. What are we going to do here? Well, the first thing we can do is we can do ls-1. I don't know if you know about this. It separates the files by new lines. This makes it really easy to see what's going on. So let's do files star. Star will match anything. So there you go. There's our six files. It literally matched anything. Star dot text. This will match anything up to the end of the string that ends in dot text. So anything on the left side could be there. So there you go. We have our three text files. We could change that, of course, to JPEG. And there you go, we match all the JPEGs. We could change this to MP3, and look at that. We failed, because there were no MP3 files there. Cool, that's what we expect. On top of that, say we only wanted the foo files, we could do foo.star. And this will match anything that starts with foo. We can do, of course, bar.star, baz.star, and there you go, it'll expand just how you expect it to. There are also some other things you can use, which are super convenient. Um, say we wanted bar, but we also wanted baz. They're only one letter away from each other, and the letter's right here. So what if we made it a question mark.txt? That question mark will match any letter. So there we go, bar.txt, baz.txt. We can do a star here, and then we can match anything that starts with ba some letter dot anything. So you can get really kind of complex with this. You could even tie this down. In my example, it's not gonna make a difference, but we could say, you know what? I want an R, I want a Z, or I want a J here. There are no J's, but it matched the R and the Z. We could even say, you know what? I just want R and J. Well, again, there is no J, but we do have an R for bar. So you can use the brace notation or the bracket notation. You can use a star, you can use a question mark. And there you go. That's basic globbing and bash.